Hey, what's good everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Orfe and today we are talking about retouching. You know, I've been a photographer and retoucher for a long time. One of the problems that I had or the problems is retouching takes a lot of time, but sometimes I have shoots with model who want, they want 10, 20 photos. You know, sometimes I just want to give two or three photos, but when they want more, or even when they paid for more, even clients, you know, it takes a lot of time. And if you've been in this game, you're going to know that, you know, you wish you had apps or anything that could have make your work go faster. Today's video is sponsored by Rebloom. Rebloom is an AI app that helps a lot of photographers like myself to make your life easier. When I say to make your life easier is to make it faster in a sense that you can retouch images in less than two minutes. You know, at first when I heard about the app, I was very skeptical, very skeptical because I was like, there's no way that an app can be this fast. And when I started retouching some of the images that I'm going to show you, to be honest, I was blown away. I'm not saying this because this is sponsored, but I'm literally saying this because this is the fastest app. And this is something that you got to remember. It's two buttons, two sliders, two buttons, two sliders, and you can retouch in less than two minutes. This is something that you can use as a standalone app, but also use it as a plugin in Photoshop Lightroom and Capture One. All right, let's jump right into it. This is a session that I had with this model. She's from Toronto, but she came to Montreal and then we had this, this shoes. So I'm going to take different photos. Let me go. We're going to start with this photo. As you can see, there's some blemishes. Let me just, let me just adjust here. I'm going to put it back in color just for you to see. I'm going to boost a little bit my exposure. The first thing you need to do, it's simple, right click, you right click and you go to edit with, I'm going to choose rebloom. And then it's going to ask you, how do you want to do it? So the format, you can choose TIFF files or JPEG and the color profile, it's either sRGB or Adobe 1998. Of course, you can have different profiles in general in Capture One, but for what I've noticed in Rebloom, you can use um, sRGB profile and Adobe 1998 and it works fine. So next thing you need to do, you click on edit variants. It's going to open in Rebloom. Let's just wait. It doesn't take a lot of time. Two buttons two sliders. So you have natural and you have fashion. What I've noticed, it removes blemishes and it does a little bit of skin smoothing and a little bit of dodge and burn, especially in the natural. My way of editing, it's always, I try to keep things natural, especially with the skin. So this app is, to be honest, it works fine with me and I love it because it does exactly the same way I would have retouched. This is the natural style. And then I'm going to click on the fashion style. It has to recalculate and the dodge and burn and the skin smoothing. It's still a little bit, it's still natural, but you're going to see that it's a little bit deeper than the natural style. You can reduce how much you want it. For example, I'll go back to closer so you can see, I can fine tune it. And as you can see, you're going to see it's general in the general slider. This is how much you can have and the texture, how much texture you want with the texture. What it does, it feels like it keeps removing blemishes, but it brings back the texture because your blemishes are still removed, but you can still use it in a way to, to, to just fine tune the texture, how much, how much texture you want to see in your photo. I'm going to go back to natural. 
and fashion as you can see natural and fashion and it does a little bit of not a little bit it does a lot of dodge and burn as you can see i'm moving the sliders can you see how the dodge and burn is applied and also the skin smoothing so i'm going to click on ok and to be honest that's pretty much it this is the before and this is the after it's still the same photo and it did an amazing job so i'm going to choose a different photo um let me just go this is the same same session uh this is the same let me just go and try to find something different so let me see this is what we have as you can see the blemishes on the face just for fun i'm going to change it to um black and white this is the quickest way to do black and white there's different ways this is all right so let me show you it's doing the high quality thing before and after before and after as you can see dodge and burn is doing dodge and burn a little bit of skin smoothing and this is the fashion i'm going to put general because my slider was a little bit down i'm going to put it oh man i would have spent a lot of time i'm i I'm keep saying this but i know how much time i spent retouching those images or retouching images in general so i'll go back to natural just to see what it does all right so even in black and white it rem removes all the imperfections and does a little bit of dodge and burn okay th those are the before and afters let me just see this is the before and this is the after it's still this is this is natural all right rebloom edit look before and after before and after and we are on the natural look and this is how I would have retouched my images. I'm not joking. You can go and check on my website. You're going to see the way I retouch my images. It's literally like this. It's the easiest way for me uh, to retouch. And this is what I love. The way I love retouching is this way. So this is the fashion. All right. Fashion before before and after before and after there's some dodge and burn underneath here to remove uh you know the dark circles before and after before and after before and after there, there's also a spot here that i keep seeing before and after so i'm gonna click okay as you can see before and after in less than two minutes i'm saying two minutes just because i want to say two minutes but to be honest is less than a minute for the last image we are going to photoshop i'm going to show you the workflow how to work in rebloom from photoshop i have an image here i'm going to do command j and then go to filter on top here and choose rebloom so i'm going to do from the app all right so as you can already see this is the fashion the fashion one if i want to reduce the general i can also remove the general but this is just two buttons two sliders i'm going to go to natural this is the natural one before this is before this is after before and after i'm gonna click ok and then you have your images here you can also play with the opacity if you want to have different you know if you want to keep more of the texture it's easy to use as you as you can see one thing also that you can do you can use the app as a standalone it's easy you can just go to rebloom and then you can drag 
your photos inside. If you want to batch edit, you can also do it to save you time. So let me show you how you can do it real quick. Let me just say, okay, those are the photos that I want to take. I'm going to do right click and edit in rebloom. Now you have all your photos that you selected. It will go through the same process of just calculating what needs to be done. And then you're just gonna click okay and export your photos. When you work with Rebloom, the quality doesn't diminish. You still have the same high quality of your photos. If you have any questions, you can go on the Rebloom app website, which is Rebloom that app and you can download your free trial and get 20% on all plans. All right. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment. If this was useful, let me know. You already know what time it is. It's your boy Orphidamine Baby. I'm out. Cheers.